Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. In today's guide, I will teach you how to absolutely destroy a horde of any size with this secret. So, have you tried using pipe bombs? You throw one at a horde, they catch fire, nothing happens, bummer. You might even try other things like motion sensors or timers, but nothing worked. They just catch fire and you have to wait for them to die. Well, time to explain. I did some basic math, and if a zombie has 100 health, pipe bombs deal around 17 which means you will need 6 of them to kill a zombie. This radius that the pipe bomb deals is huge. Damage drops off only at the end of the circle, but most of it pretty much deals regular to every single zombie in that area. Which means, if you plant 6 of them using a remote controller and activate them at the same time, you will absolutely annihilate any zombie in there. Now, I'm using a controlled environment here. I spawned zombies on top of those six pipe bombs. Okay, don't worry. I will teach you a strat that will change how you look at the engineer occupation forever. Alright, check it out. You barricade a front of a building with a lot of windows. Plant six remote pipe bombs in front of it. You bait a horde of any size to the front. And make sure that the barricade is strong enough to hold all of them and group them up. Once the barricade starts failing, or you're sure that every single zombie is in the big boom radius, trigger it. You will see that no matter the size of a horde, all of them will get sent to the shadow realm. Some of them might actually stay alive because they were at the end of the radius, but that doesn't matter because their health will be so low you will literally one-shot them. With this strategy, no matter the size of a horde, you can kill such huge hordes that it will be borderline OP. These are the materials you will need for the 6 remote pipe bombs. You can turn any ammo into gunpowder, I prefer 9mm, and just follow the instructions. You will also need the electronic magazines for the triggers and the remote controllers. These are the materials you need for a remote controller. It's very simple. Uh, the better the remote controller, the more range you will have. I advise making the V3 as it has range of 15 tiles so you can clear out and then send those fuckers to Shadow Realm. Now once you've crafted them, you can place them down, and whatever is inside that radius, bye bye. Now the bad news. This doesn't work in multiplayer. Yep. How you may ask? Well, the remote bombs cannot be triggered in multiplayer because Indie Stone. Now some other notes. Don't get caught in the blast or you will also be instantly sent to the Shadow Realm with the rest of them. If you put bombs inside small rooms, they will only affect that small room. So make sure to put them in the open where they don't have limited radius. Do not use more than 6 pipe bombs in the same radius, it will have no effect. Instead, make another pile of 6 pipe bombs to have 2 radiuses if needed. If you have no idea how to make pipe bombs or remote controllers, I highly advise you to check out my engineer traps guide. I will provide a link in the description. Now it's time for the tip of the video. If you right click on a fire and you have either water or an extinguisher, you can extinguish the fire. This won't help if the fire is already big though. Hope you learned something new. Remember the magical number 6 and I will see you all in my next video.